Hello, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to a restorative yoga sequence. So I've got my cozy socks on. I've got a nice long sleeve shirt on. I've got my bolster with me. If you don't have a bolster, check out my no bolster, no problem video. Let's get started sitting cross-legged in Sukhasana, easy pose. Make sure you're sitting evenly on your sit bones. And then sitting up nice and tall, take the hands to the knees and just start to fold forward at the hips. So if you're feeling it, you can even take fingertips to the floor, keep the gaze on the floor in front of you, and just start to spider walk your fingertips out in front of you. Now remember, we're taking it easy today, so no need to push your limits, no need to challenge your range of motion, just going to your edge. You might like to gently rock the head from side to side, maybe nodding it up and down, just getting a little bit of movement through that shoulder, neck area. Starting to slow down, smoothing out the breath, really settling into this restorative practice. Taking this opportunity to maybe go a little bit further if you're feeling it. Continuing to slow down that breath. Really filling up the entire torso with every breath in and softening a little with every breath out. Gently walk the fingertips back toward you, sitting up nice and tall. Let's bring our bolster or our prop over to our right side. I'm going to rest my whole forearm on that right side. Take the left arm, reach it up and over. Now you've got the option here, you can even bend the elbow Kind of grab onto the back of your head and let your head relax into your hand. Remember, if that's not feeling good to have your arms up overhead, you can keep the hand on the hip. What we're looking for here is opening through the side body. So watch you're not rocking forward. Think about your armpit kind of being open to the sky here. It's like your bottom right ribs are coming forward. Thinking about both sit bones being on the floor here. And with every breath in, feel like you're breathing some space into the left side of your body. Reaching that arm up and over. And that same arm, left arm will come across the body, reaching to the right knee. And we're taking a gentle twist here. And noticing where you might feel a little bit stuck. Remember, we don't have to push or pull too much. Letting the longer amount of time we spend in these poses, letting your breath kind of free you up here. Let's do the same thing on the other side, a little shoulder roll. I'm going to take my bolster over to my left side. I'm going to swap the cross of my legs over, keeping things nice and even. Sitting evenly on the sit bones. And then once again, taking fingertips either to the knees, perhaps to the floor, and start to spider walk them out in front of you. Keeping the gaze kind of just to the space between the hands or maybe a little bit further away from you. Can be nice to fix your gaze into one spot and focus on your breath. Breathing into the back body here. Maybe feeling a little bit of stretch in the outer hips. And once again, if you're feeling it, maybe you nod the head, rock the head. These really slow, mindful kind of head nods, head rocks are really great if you get a little bit fidgety in your restorative or your yin yoga practice. Then taking our lateral bend, <laughs> and a grounding down through both sit bones here, resting my forearm. Watch you're not collapsing into that sh shoulder. We've still got a little bit of a, a lift through there. And then I reach that right arm up and away from me, 
fingertips as far away as they can manage. And then I've got the option here of grabbing my head. Or maybe I just keep that hand reaching. Remembering if that shoulder feels a bit yucky, you can keep the hand on the hip. We're looking for length in the side body here. Settling in. Every breath in, creating space between each and every rib on that right hand side. Really thinking about that right hip, right sit bone coming down toward the floor. Remember the options with your arms. And savoring your last breath here. Reaching that arm up and over. Let's take that right hand this time across the body, twisting open to the left side. Again, knowing we're going to be here for a few rounds of breath, so maybe starting at 50% and then working your way up a little bit gently with each and every round of breath. Looking at moving gently, moving slowly, knowing this is an opportunity to slow down. A little wriggle of the shoulders to even ourselves out. And then taking a paintbrush to our chin here, I'm going to start to draw a spiral. So starting really small. And then letting that circular motion get bigger and bigger and bigger till you're drawing the biggest circle you can with your chin. And then once you've taken your biggest circle, take your spiral back in the other direction, starting big, getting smaller and smaller. Just movement through the neck here. Pop our bolster out of the way. I'm going to extend my legs out. So what we're looking for here is heels wider than the hips. You can have a bend in your knees. Now I'm going to grab my bolster here. This is optional and I've placed it across my leg. Now I'm folding forward. You might be comfortable kind of resting your upper body on that bolster. I'm going to place my elbows on the bolster. And think about that leg that you're facing away from. Just watching that those toes, those knees don't rock inwards. Keep the knee and the toe facing up towards the ceiling. Thinking about the center of your chest and making its way over that left leg. Now you don't have to hold your head in your hands here. Sometimes people like to completely let go, completely rock forward and round through the upper back. I personally like to support my neck. Yeah, it's softening over that left leg. Again, smoothing out the breath here. This is another gentle twist. Perhaps having a play with a nice deep inhale. Noticing how that feels for you. Knowing that your fold doesn't have to be huge. Let's come up through center, moving gently, moving slowly. We go to the other side. I'm showing you options here. You may or may not want to use your bolster. I like to because I'll use any excuse to get mine out. <laughs> Watching that back leg, keeping the knee, keeping the toes pointing up to the ceiling. So we're still a little bit active here. And just like in our Sukhasana, when we were doing that uh, lateral side bend, thinking about both sit bones being on the floor. So as we fold over our right leg, our left sit bone might want to pop up a little bit. See if you can lengthen and root it down into the floor. Perhaps keeping your gaze, keeping your attention in one spot. The toes is a good one for the shape. Giving yourself permission to go slowly. Let's come up through center. Again, bolster optional. I'm going to place my elbows on my bolster. 
Now some people like to kind of place the end of the bolster on their chest, pop their arms in the middle and kind of fold it in half. Or you can have it all on the floor. Have a bit of a play here. Thinking about both knees, both sets of toes staying pointing up to the ceiling. So we're a little bit active here, but not too much. Thinking about the chest kind of pulling forward. So we feel a little bit open, a little bit long through the upper back here. <laughs> Again, I'm supporting my head. This is completely optional. Noticing your tight spots and seeing if you can bring the movement of your breath into those spots. Slowly bring ourselves up. Take your bolster off to the side. Keep it within reaching distance. Help your legs up. A little rock from side to side. <laughs> and turning long ways on your mat if you're not there already. Let's lie down on the floor. Keep your bolster kind of beside you. I'm going to take my left knee, draw it in towards my chest, and I'm going to grab on here. You can grab on under the knee, grab your pants. This is a good opportunity for you to use your yoga strap if you can't quite comfortably reach. Now think about your head, your shoulders relaxing on the floor here. And if you can't quite grab a hold of your knee without your head resting down, grab your strap, grab your dressing gown cord, <laughs> a sarong. And then here we can start to make some circles with the ankles. Just gently one way and the other. I'm going to grab my bolster. I'm going to bring it right beside my hip, taking that left leg across the body. And I'm resting my whole shin on that bolster there. And then I'm opening into a twist. So both shoulders are on the floor, especially that left shoulder. Again, the bolster is optional here. We're just taking a gentle twist. Again, we don't have to challenge our full range of motion. These gentle movements are still so nourishing to our body. Thinking about each breath, an opportunity to let go of any tension that it's found its way into your system during your day. I'm going to help my knee back through center, give it a little squeeze in toward the chest. I'm taking my bolster off to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. And that left knee I've got into my chest, I'm going to take that left ankle, cross it over my right knee. So right leg is bent, right foot on the floor. And options here with your figure four, you might reach up, grab that knee. I personally like to grab my bolster, any excuse I told you. <laughs> Pop that right foot on the bolster. Again, just showing options. And so I've got that right foot lifted slightly making that nice figure four shape. This is like an upside down pigeon. Beautiful piriformis stretch. And your arms can do whatever you want your arms to do right now. My favorite thing is a nice cactus shape. Let's uncross the legs. I'm just rolling my bolster off. A little rock from side to side with the knees. Bit of a palate cleanser. Gentle twist from side to side. <laughs> and then just moving my bolster out of the way. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So drawing my right knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Give it a squeeze. And just watching what that chin's doing. If you think your chin is kind of pointing kind of up behind you, think about lengthening through the back of the neck. You can even place a support, a folded blanket, folded towel under your head here if you're having trouble keeping that back of the neck long. We can take some movements with the ankle if you like, drawing circles one way, drawing circles the other way. Keeping that breath smooth and long. 
knowing that every deep breath in, deep breath out, we are sending a message to our body that we are safe, we are calm, kind of flicking on the switch to our rest and digest state. Let's take that right knee across the body, I'm resting it on my bolster, and then I'm opening out into my twist, both shoulders on the floor, I've got my whole shin resting, just a gentle twist here. Now you might like to look over that opposite shoulder. I personally keep my gaze up towards the ceiling. Just taking whatever movement with your neck feels good. Again, if you struggle to stay still, a nice rock with the head from side to side, really slowly. It's a beautiful massage on the back of the head, but also helps keep your attention in one place. Bringing that knee back through centre, a little hug. Let's step that left foot in, place the right ankle over the left knee, and then pick your options with your figure four. You can reach that arm up through the gap in your legs, take the other hand around, rest your head back on the floor here. Grabbing over the knees a little more intense, under the knees a little nicer. I'm in super cosy, relaxed mode, so I'm going to take that left foot onto my bolster and I'm going to relax. Feeling heavy on the floor. Breath flows easily. Knowing that every soft, gentle movement, every deep, conscious breath, we're moving lymph around the body. Let's make our way out of our figure four, both feet on the floor, a little rock, windshield wipers from side to side with the knees. I'm going to grab my bolster, and this time popping it behind me so it runs along my mat. I'm laying myself down over my bolster. You've got options with the legs here. Maybe you come into a Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees apart, or perhaps feet apart, knees together, or you can extend the legs out nice and long. Options with the arms, you can take them up overhead, grab the elbows, take them out by the sides. You might have them on the chest or on the belly. I always like to use this opportunity in this shape to open out through the chest, arms out by the sides. Knowing here, if a bolster feels a little bit too high, too big for you, uh, a rolled up towel just does an amazing job too. <laughs> here especially, every breath in is an opportunity to open through the front of the chest. Again, thinking about the chin kind of pointing down towards the heart or down toward the toes. If you feel like it's pointing upwards or pointing behind you, take some support underneath your head. This is a really nice time to soften the face, close down the eyes. Taking attention to the heart. Maybe a nice stretch, arms up overhead. Let's gently roll off to one side. Spend a moment in a fetal position. Being gentle, careful with yourself. I'm going to roll my bolster off to the side. Come back to lie on my back. Extending the legs out nice and long. Making our way into Shavasana. You might like to prop Shavasana with a bolster under the knees, maybe an eye pillow, a blanket, whatever you need to feel comfortable here. You're welcome to continue on with your Shavasana. When you're ready to come out, rolling to one side, bringing yourself up to sit up nice and tall. Let's take both hands onto the belly, spending 
three long breaths, breathing into your palms. Bringing hands to the heart, same thing, three breaths, expanding your heart into your hands. Bringing the hands in front of the heart. And the light in me recognises and loves the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me for this cosy restorative practice. I am feeling so relaxed. Take care and I will see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>